Well, we are seeing some severe weather with this, so uh, I want to caution you there. We think these storms will weaken a little bit as they work towards San Antonio, but we have to keep our guard up here because these storms are getting pretty close and this could affect the morning rush hour. Here is the line of storms that we're watching. You can see basically stretches across our entire viewing area, but it's this segment right here that we want to watch very closely. That's where we're seeing some of the strongest storms. Severe thunderstorm warning that goes until 445 this morning. Does include Bandera, Kerr, Medina, in Uvalde counties. It's possible that this warning could get extended uh, off to the east as this line of storms moves east. Well, look at all the lightning with this. So Kerrville, you're really getting hit hard right now. Probably some gusty winds in there too. Winds up to 60 miles per hour there around Kerrville. There could be some small hail. And then I would imagine there's a little bit of small hail there in uh, parts of northwestern Medina County as that uh, segment of the line moves through. A little further south, Sabinal and along Highway 90, that uh, that heavy rain is starting to move in your direction. Uh, we plotted it out here, says San Antonio about 6 o'clock. I think it could be a little bit earlier than that. We're talking probably 530 to 6 this morning that this line is moving in. So if you want to get an early start on the commute, I suppose uh, you could do it now. But uh, keep in mind, there's probably going to be some heavy rain in spots as this line moves in. There's a look at some of the 24 hour rainfall totals. Pretty impressive, up to two inches in some spots here across Edwards County. Also want to point out we have a sphere thunderstorm watch that goes until 8 a.m. this morning, basically west of San Antonio, so the hill country. A lot of these storms are actually starting to move out of this area, but there's still that potential for some stronger weather. Uh, forecast for today, uh, it stays fairly cool. It, you'll also notice that it will get breezy once this line of storms passes by. We'll get some gusty winds. Still could see a few showers on the backside of this storm system. That's one little change we've added to the forecast. But we're going to continue to track this line. Again, it could have an issue, could cause some issues for the morning commute. Marcus, uh, what are things looking like right now?